What is Boyle's Law? Boyle's Law. Right, where should we start with this one? Boyle's Law is to do with two physical quantities, both of which we can change very easily, actually. These two things are P and V. What does P stand for? Not momentum in this case. P stands for pressure. V stands for, no, not velocity, volume. So that's already started to get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit confusing. Boyle's Law says this. P1, V1, equals P2, V2. Make sense yet? Of course it doesn't. I haven't explained it yet. If I have two different physical quantities, for example, pressure and volume, in a fixed container, as I increase one of them, the other one's going to change. Take, for example, a balloon. If I have a balloon and I make that balloon smaller, if I squeeze the balloon, the pressure inside the balloon is going to increase. I'm squeezing all these little air particles inside the balloon closer and closer together, increasing the pressure within that balloon. So I make P bigger by making V smaller. Controversially, if I stretch this balloon out, say I've got really sticky hands, I pull it apart like this and I'm making the volume of that balloon bigger, I'm stretching it out, I'm making the volume bigger, the pressure inside the balloon is gonna go down. One goes up, one goes down. The other one goes up, the other one goes down. If I decrease the volume, the pressure's gonna go up. I'm squashing it, I'm squashing all these air particles closer and closer together. The same is applicable for water, although of course, as we know, water cannot be condensed in the same way that air can, because the particles are already very, very close together in water. A couple of key things to remember with Boyle's Law is that the mass of the particles in the container that is in question must be fixed. We must have a fixed mass. If I've got a fixed volume and I start pumping air into it, of course the pressure is going to increase if I keep the volume the same. Okay, so that's rule one. The actual mass of particles, or you can think of it of the num as the number of particles, must be kept constant. The other thing is, is the temperature must be kept constant. If I heat up these air particles, they're going to be given energy. They're going to start to vibrate slightly, which is also going to increase the pressure. So Boyle's law is applicable under the conditions that you've got fixed mass and a fixed temperature. Basically, Boyle's law is saying that pressure and volume for a fixed mass and a fixed temperature in a container is inversely proportional. Inversely proportional, fancy way of saying one goes up, the other one goes down. The other one goes up, the other one goes down. I increase the volume, I get my sticky hands, I pull this balloon apart, and the volume increases. What does the pressure do? Well, if the volume's increased, the pressure must have decreased. I squash it down, I get my giant, I don't know, oven-gloved hands, I squash the balloon, and actually, because I've decreased the volume, the, the volume's gone down, the pressure must have gone up. That is effectively what Boyle's Law is. Thanks for watching this video. This is Physics Friends. You can subscribe for new videos every first and third Monday of each month. Uh, give it a like and share it with your friends. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.